You know, life is so amazing, life is so mysterious, life is so beautiful, you know. And most especially when God Almighty is involved, hallelujah. There are a lot of things that are waiting for you in packages. But you find that now you are busy, you are stressed, you are worrying, you are wondering like, Lord, why aren't you answering me and all? But you find that the, all your things, all your gifts are already being packaged by the Lord God himself. Hallelujah. And by the way, hello everyone. My name is Ishmael and, and welcome to today's video in which I want to talk to you about the kingdom marriages. As you know, this is... Uh, in the, especially in this channel, this I like talking a lot about this, okay? I want to talk about that He is waiting for you. Hallelujah. There are a lot of things that are waiting for you, but you just don't know. Let me tell you something. God, the Bible says God knew you in the beginning. Knew you before even you were even born. God already knew or know the plans that He has for you. He has predestined you for great things. Hallelujah. And surely... I pray, I declare, and I declare, you shall receive all those great things in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing by any means shall stand in your way. I decree and I declare over your life that let every good thing follow you in Jesus' mighty name. Let me tell you there's something. God Almighty already knew when he knew Abraham. He already knew that Abraham and Sarah were going to create Isaac. That in which the nations were going to multiply out of him, okay? He already knew in the beginning. He already knew how he's going to come bring it to pass. But at the time, Abraham looked at life. Things were hard. He was getting old. No promised child or no son for that matter. But God made a promise. And at the end, he fulfilled it. Let me tell you, you'll be going through a struggle where you want your marital break. You want your right or don't spouse. God has something special for you. He knows that at the end of the day, there is a child that is supposed to be born. There is a seed that is supposed to come out of you. And as a result, he will make sure he brings it to pass. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you that in the name of Jesus Christ, let everything that God has planned about your life come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke any form of demonic interference in your life, in your marital breakthrough, in your marital progress, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me tell you when Ruth, I like speaking about this a lot. Ruth, she lost her husband. And then she decided to just follow her mother-in-law, Naomi. At the land that she's coming from, she was like, let me just follow you. Your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. But that is when she followed the Ruth. That's when at the land of Naomi, that is when she discovered Boaz. Hallelujah. And Boaz also recognized Ruth. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, you might be at a situation where things seems like they turned out bad. She was already married. She had already got, gotten a, 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 a marital breakthrough. But something came and intervened and disturbed and ruined their marital life. She was already married. She had passed through that stage where you are waiting. But God knew that there was something better. He was like, there is a better marriage for you. Let me tell you, God knows your future. Sometimes you might get a blessing and you feel like it is the actual blessing you've been waiting for. But God knows the special thing that he has for you, the rightful thing. That's why I pray that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may that exact blessing that the lord god almighty had predestined for you may it come to pass may it be the one to actually manifest i decree and i declare in the mighty name of jesus christ let that actual blessing the lord has meant for you come to pass in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah god knew that there was a better marriage for her. God knew that she was going to, re to receive a wealthy man. Let me tell you all along, we surprised. Boaz was not having a wife, it seems. Hallelujah, but he was so rich. I don't know if maybe on the side he had other wife, I'm not sure. But that Bible does make it show that actually there was a special lady who was waiting for by the name of Ruth. 
Hence, he was so impressed by her character. Let me tell you, all along, she did not know that on the other side, there is a man waiting for her. Let me tell you, there is someone special waiting for you. It's just a matter of time. There is that somebody who won't say yes to just anybody, but they are looking for someone with your character. Hence, God is busy with you being your guide. God Almighty says, stick with me. The Lord, just like in Psalms 110 verse 1, says, is busy saying to you, sit at my right hand until. Sit with me, believe in me, trust in me until I do it for you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you that God is with you because he knows that at the other side, there is someone special who is waiting for you. Hallelujah. Who's going to be impressed? That's why he knows that this person, the only way for him or her to recognize you is if you are to walk with me. They were able to recognize Ruth because she was walking with Naomi. Hence, they were able to even say, to refer that she is here. Naomi was the reason, was the one who, in fact, encouraged her to go work at Boaz's uh, field, you know, or at Boaz's farm. But if she had not followed Naomi, she wouldn't have bumped into boys. Let me tell you that God, God Almighty says, follow me. It's only when you keep on following the Lord, it's going to come to pass. Let me tell you that God Almighty, he already knew that at the end, Ruth was going to end up with boys. It does not matter where you are right now. It does not matter how bad it looks right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me declare and declare that right now, you will end up where God has predestined you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is a special plan the Lord has for you. And that is where you are going to end up, no matter what the enemy says, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I say that Ruth was destined to be with Boaz just because, remember, the lineage, it goes down to up until King David, up until Joseph, who was the stepfather of the Lord Jesus Christ. Or let's say the father of Jesus Christ in some other ways. That lineage went through the seed of Boaz. Hallelujah, the DNA of Boaz and Ruth to show that there was something special for those two. Let me tell you that nothing the enemy will do will stop you. If you've been trusting on God, do not focus on your what's happening right now. Don't be distracted like Peter who got distracted by the waves and started sinking. Those things are only just there to scare you off. Don't be scared. You are going somewhere great. The Lord has something special for you. And it's only when you trust in him that will come to pass. Let me tell you, your Boaz is waiting for you. Your Ruth is waiting for you on the other side. Don't give up. Don't look at how now you just got in your heart broken and say, oh, everything to me is bad. Nobody loves me. No, listen, keep on walking. God knows where you are going. Keep on following the Lord Jesus and you'll end up where God has prepared you to end up. And I pray for you that in the name of Jesus Christ, may you surely see it in Jesus' mighty name. Receive this breakthrough and this grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. And of course, that's all I had for you in today's video. For my details, check the descriptions of the video below. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as for me, I will see you next time. Stay blessed.